I want to talk a little bit about something that's very taboo in the church, and that's sex. Um, a lot of you all are familiar with the song tonight that's on uh, MySpace, our MySpace uh, spot. And um, I just want to give you a little background on how that song came about. I was playing for this church, playing organ for this church. And um, me and this young lady was, you know, just having sex night after night after night after night. And I'm, you know, the main musician at this church. So, I probably played there about four or five years. But, like, the, the beginning of, like, the fourth year is when this relationship was going down with this young lady. So, um, after a while, I was getting very, very um, just convicted, felt guilty, just feeling horrible inside. And I told her that we had to stop. So, about a week and a half goes past, and I get called into a meeting with the pastor and two of the elders. And the pastor tells me that he's sitting me down because, and for those of y'all who don't know what sitting, getting sat down is, is when you've done something wrong at the church or at a church, one of the high priests <laughs> finds out and tells the pastor or whatever, or the pastor finds out however, and they stop you from functioning in the capacity that you're functioning. So they stopped, he stopped me from playing organ because this girl told him that, you know, I had stopped having sex with her. Well, I was punished for stopping, but the real reason why I got punished was because he found out after the fact. She was mad because I wasn't having sex with her no more and basically just busted me out. So after that, you know, I was mad. I was really, really upset. And I told my man Reed, I think he had gone on vacation or something. And he came back and um, I had this this song in my head. And this track, well actually I had this track in my head. And because we're huge fans of Jodeci, you know, they've been highly influential in our music. I, um, you know, just kind of started the whole freaking you thing. And musically that is. And just feeling, the, the hump in my shoulders about the, the track, but then the music also made the words that I was feeling in my heart come out, which was, you know, I want to do it, but I know it ain't cool. So, me and Reed put our heads together, and, you know, I don't want to be alone tonight. No, it ain't right for you to spend the night with me, with you. With me. And it fit. It was exactly what I wanted to say. It was how I wanted to say it over the track or over the music that I wanted to say it over. So it wasn't corny. It wasn't contrived. It wasn't made up. And this is exactly what, you know, I was feeling. And at the same time, you know, I've had to, you know, singing this song. You know, the amount of time that we've sang this song, every time I sing it, I get a new perspective of it. Because I'm not the same dude I was, you know, back then. You know, but being the man that I am now, I still have to sing that song to myself because I'm the only member of the group that's not married. I'm the only, I'm probably the most controversial dude in the group. And it's for, you know, various reasons. People don't understand me. You know, people make up stuff about me, they lie on me. Some stuff has been true. But the most of the stuff that folks has made up about me is definitely a lie. And because of it, every time we sing that song, I sing it with a renewed fervor. I sing it with a renewed uh, love for God. I sing it with, you know, other people who may be experiencing the same thing. I sing it for them because Regardless to if we singing Jesus keep me near the cross or if we singing, you know, I don't want to be alone Who we are called to is who we're called to So when we're singing that song, I know who we're called to will hear it and be pulled out of whatever, you know Sexual situation they may be in 